Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to take a look at this. Ionic air purifier with light. And this is from GearBest. They sent this out free of charge for us to take a look at. And they did ask that I put their logo on. So there it is for a few seconds. So this is an Ionic air purifier. It says it comes with an on-off switch, purification zone, night light. Look at the side. It says model BYKJY68. Rated voltage for Europe, AC 220 to 240 to 50 hertz. For USA or Japan, 100 to 120 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. Power consumption, 1.8 watts. Active oxygen output, less than 0.05% ppm. Ion output, says greater than 9 times 10 to the 6 centimeters cubed. We'll measure the dimensions. 240 grams. Applicable area is 15 to 30 square meters. That's... A lot of room uh, attaching plug European Chinese I believe this one says on here somewhere we'll find it is an American plug so does it say that yep over here blue US plug made in China uses advanced aerionic movement technology soundless design no motor cordless electric plug okay 1.8 watts easy to clean dust collector that might be good all right, let's uh, open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so there's the unit. And it is very small. We'll, we'll measure it. Let's uh, have a look at the manual that comes with it first. Anion on mysterious function. Okay. I don't really see anything. Okay, improvement is in lung function. Wow, they're they're advertising a lung function increase of twenty percent. Improvement in sleep. Improves metabolism. Well, you can tell this hasn't been uh, approved by the FDA, you know, because that, that shit would never fly. All right, let's uh, plug it in. We're going to have to move over here a little bit. I'm going to have to go handheld. All right, the time isn't right. You'll have to ignore that. I just took that out of the drawer. It's been sitting there for quite some time. This is my power meter, and let's uh, let's plug in the ion generator. So it doesn't look like it's drawing any current in the standby. Turn it on here. That's the lowest setting. And it appears still not to be drawing any current, which is interesting. So let's turn it up. Well, that appears to be its fully on position. And still, you can see it's drawing no current and power factor of 0, 0. 0.0 0.1 watt that's total hmm i really expected to be seeing a some sort of power draw there. That's kind of making me wonder a little bit. Well, of course, we're going to have to take it apart, so we might as well just get into that. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty curious to see what's actually in here. Because my understanding of a uh, ionic air purifier is that there should be a um, voltage multiplier in here consisting of some diodes and some capacitors, right? Isn't that your understanding too? So what it should be doing is it should be driving that voltage up to thousands of volts where it can be discharged as a, a coronal discharge thereby charging the nearby air particles and making them heavier where dust will connect to them or collect to them or be attracted to them. I guess that's the proper word. Dust will become attracted to them 
and then they will fall to the ground. But perhaps this is uh, something different. Even, I mean, even if it's an ozone generator, there's got to be some power draw, right? Okay, so what do we see here? Not much. There's our pot and power switch. There's a capacitor. And there's this, which appears to be potted in there. So, let me find the right screwdriver. If you ever wonder why it takes so long to find the right screwdriver, I keep the tools I use most often here. Then I just dig out what I'm what I think I need, you know. Is it what I need? Well, nobody really knows. Alright, these are tight. Give me a minute. Okay, screws are out. And now here's our board we're looking at up top. This is where the power is coming in from these two prongs. And it's going through a capacitive dropper. There's an LED. There's a discrete bridge rectifier. And this is a very, I was thinking it was a pot, but it's not. It's just a switch built in that form factor. Now, I got the, there's only one screw holding this thing in here, so I don't know. What else could be possibly holding it in? Unless it's glued. Which is, I guess, possible. Give me a second. We'll see what we can figure out with getting that big chunk out. Okay, well, that potted part is not coming out with destroying without destroying the unit, which I really don't want to do. And we're not going to see anything within there anyway. It's all in entirely enclosed. But what you can see here are these very sharp points. Let's see if we can zoom in there. And that is exactly what we'd expect to see in an ionizer. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back together and I'm going to let it run at least overnight and we'll, we'll put it on a cumulative power thing. We'll see if it draws any watts overnight and we'll see if I can notice any of that ozone smell. All right, we'll be back again tomorrow then. Okay, guys, this has been running for almost 24 hours out here in the kitchen. And as you can see, zero kilowatt hours have been used. 124.5 volts, no amps, no watts. Watch the low, let's go to the high, nothing, nothing. It does nothing. Really, I don't know what to say about this other than it doesn't do anything. It draws no power. Nothing happens. I don't know if GearBest sent a dud or if this is some sort of counterfeit or what, but yeah. I'm sure not going to recommend this. No what else to say. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.